Beyond Coast Central Hospital. This hospital's nameplate. Beyond Coast Central Hospital, just like you said. I believed you. Let's head inside. It's the main entrance. よし、病院に入ってみよう。BCCHのロビーだぞ。これだけのマンモス病院だ。王女の知人を探すのも一苦労だろうな。しかし、今はそれしか道はない。気を持ち直して、王女の手がかりを探そう。Alright, well. Just been waiting for someone. Hey, she looks pretty from the, pretty nice from this angle. Bold guy. So they'll go patient too. Looks like he just got out of mental illness or something. Man, why you gotta talk about people like that? Check out this Chinese looking dude. He's got a hand towel tied around his head. A lot of them do that to keep warm. Why would anyone in their right mind be doing that here? Seems like another patient. They don't look too good. Oop, oop, oop. They're all patients here. They're all patients here. He looks like he's talking to the receptionist. We should try inquiring at reception ourselves. People don't know Hojo. It's the hospital's information counter when we try asking about Hojo. Good idea. What about these doctors over here? This guy looks like he's been hospitalized here. Seems pretty healthy to me. Maybe he's here for surgery. What about her? Look, Ed. A nurse. Why well, am I not surprised? Better believe it. Alright. To reception. May we speak with you a moment? Hi. How are you doing? いや、実は初心の方ですね。こちらのアンケート用紙に症状を詳しくご記入ください。違うんだ。俺たちはどこもあるかない。あ？俺たちは病院の警察のものなんだが、ちょっと聞きたいことがあるんだ。警察の方？
私は BCP 風紀化のエド・ブラウン俺はジョナサン・イングナム OLA でああそうだやっぱりそうだわどこかで見た顔だと思ったあなたたちポリスノーツのエドとジョナサンどうして私よ覚えてないかしら一度少女雑誌のカバーを一緒に撮影したでしょもう30年も前だけどおうあのモデルのクリスちゃんそうか女らしくなってあのクリスか<笑>もうすっかりおばちゃんよそうねあなたたちなの会えて嬉しいわでどんな要件 So, what's up indeed? What's this? It's potpourri. It has a lavender fragrance. I get it sent to me by a friend on home. Go ahead and smell it. This is the cover of a teen magazine from 30 years ago. Beyonds. They got us and the other police knots on the front. Seeing you guys brings back so many memories. Look at my face. This was me before I lost everything. <laughs> I was just a kid back then myself. That's Tokugawa. He never smiles when he gets his picture taken. There's Gates. He was Mr. Popular. There's Salvatore. He always joked around when he did pictures like this. I remember how cute you were, Chris. Yeah, real cute. I would have been 14 then. <laughs> the baby! That's <laughs> See more baby. I don't remember his name. <laughs> Seemed a little sad for someone your age. I was 19 if I remember right. Hmm. What are all these papers? I got things like my medical license and the hospital's accredi accreditation up there. Books. These are books on organ trans transplantation. That's my area of expertise. Let's talk. Whoa, easy. So, what do you want to Mosquito. Mosquito? Eh, Kagata no psychic micro machine. Yo, Kono Mosquito, program like I saw one of those in Hojo's office. Yo, Yaksaki Kaishu Stano. Okay. Smell? What? This is a nice smell. What is it? It's lavender perfume. I just hate the smell of drugs. It's the only reason I wear it. You get about as many people wearing fragrances here as you do smoking cigarettes. Hey, nothing wrong with either. I got potpourri with the same fragrance up on the mantel place. Go ahead and smell it if you'd like. I like the smell. Find it relaxing. Let's talk. <laughs> ここの Beyond has the same medical system you find in Japan, where a doctor can serve as a pharmacist. When people get their prescription in a hospital, they'll receive their medication from its pharmacy. We have our own pharmacy since there's no separate separation between prescribing and dispensing in our medical industry. The profit margin for drugs here is astronomical. Doctors rake in an extra 20 to 30 percent by dispensing themselves. Hospitals and drug companies make a killing in this system because of the price of drugs for patients is so high. One of the reasons Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals has become so successful is because it lobbied for the implementation of the Japanese system on Beyond in the early days of the colony. Plus, there's the fact that people here prefer to take a drug for something even if they don't actually need it. All of this has led to overprescription, a large drug profit margin, and a medical industry that benefits doctors and hospitals instead of patients. Personally, I'm against doing these things this way. We should be working on separating the industry like places on home. But as a businesswoman, it's great for us. The hospital wouldn't be where it is today without the system. Yeah, I get all that. But what about the pharmacist? Oh yeah, the pharmacist. You mean Jun Ishida. Oops. So how did Beyond's first teen idol wind up in charge of his biggest hospital? 
I quit modeling 20 years ago. My parents were doctors here and beyond. But then, they were killed in that space plane disaster. That's when I inherited this place. I've gone to medical school, and this was the only thing they left me. I've always been, I'm always busy with something, whether it's here or somewhere else. What can you tell us about this Ishida? Jun Ishida is a employee of Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals assigned to us here at the hospital. He can be a bit of an odd character, but he gets the job done. He works for Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. We have an important relationship with Tokugawa. A number of their employees work here. We can never just shut them out. Where is the pharmacy located? Through that door there. The two rooms were originally one. It's a little inconvenient, I know. We split this room up, but that's where we put the pharmacy. The window's out in the hall, of course. You make sure no one steals anything, huh? Ha ha ha. Guess you could say that. We're planning on moving as soon since it's been a pain having it like this for so long. My main job is running the hospital, but since my area of expertise is organ transplantation, I help out a little with that as well. For instance, I'm a consultant for the Beyond Coast Organ Procurement Network, the Beyond Coast Organ Distribution Network, and various other transplant groups. Are organ transplants really that important space? Yeah, they're absolutely essential to us. Space's environment has massive effects on the human body, what with the weightlessness and cosmic rays. We still aren't ready for transplanting artificial organs. All medical science can do at the moment is transplant them from other people. What about using artificial organs? We're a long way from developing organs that can be used long term, function as a complete replacement for the failed organ, and are small enough to be inserted into the body. We do have machine organs and bio-organs, but the only replacements that can currently be classified as a complete are artificial bones, teeth, and a type of blood used exclusively for transplanting oxygen. You're talking about the artificial blood AP uses. There are machines that can function as supplementary hearts and kidneys outside the body, but there are problems with internalizing them. The most advanced artificial kidney I can ever see us developing is continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis. Blah, 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 blah. Which organs are affected by cosmic rays? The ones with rapid cell division rights, rights are affected the most. For instance, bone marrow, lymphatic tissue, the mus mucosal epithelium of the digestive tract, the reproductive organs, that's what happened to Karen. Then come the kidneys, the liver, the lungs, the skin, blood vessels, blah 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 blah. This doesn't have anything to do with our investigation, but how complex a procedure is a bone marrow transplant? Bone marrow transplant? Well, all transplants are complex procedures, but bone marrow transplants in particular. You can't perform the transplant without a donor whose HLA matches the recipients. Everything depends on them matching. It's a mosquito-type robot developed by Tokugawa Heavy Industries and Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. It's designed for drawing blood from people and animals and administering shots. With this, you can draw blood without the subject feeling a thing. It's also used for donating blood. They've been hit with a lot of criticism, but these guys are one of the reasons we've been able to keep AIDS and other diseases under control here. They fly by flapping their wings? They were designed through biomechanics, I don't know the details. We saw a hologram of it at Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. Oh, shit. Why did you open that? Click on it with the cursor. Oh, fuck you. また逃げられた。ダメ。あ、早く捕まえて。うん、そう、また逃げられた。痛くそ。ああ、刺されたわ。お、カモン。いや、こんなところに。お、今度は胸だ。ああ。故障だから、ジョナサン、俺の役目だ。ファーキングコジマ。俺は人生を恨むよ。<sighs> I can't see it, but I'm totally face palming here. Thank you, Jonas. 
ジョナサンお前へな後で感想を聞かせろよ本当におかしな人たちねポリスノーツさんまるでバディ映画から抜け出たみたいまあ大事に至らなくてよかったそうねさあこれからどうするお二人さん Yeah, totally. <laughs> Let's go to the pharmacy. Ja, Yakuku will miss it. Do you think I'm going to go to the pharmacy? Ah, Jonathan? What do you think? I'm going to go to the pharmacy. I'm going to go to the pharmacy. I'm going to go to the pharmacy. 脅迫がうまいわね男と女の駆け引きさ Fade to black Whoa, hey, buddy. 何の用だいあんたら薬なら窓口で心配はいらない俺たちは BCP のものだ理事長の許可は得ている警察石田さんでしょ薬局の責任者のはあ僕は石田純だけど一応ここの薬局を任されてるけどでどんな要件なんだい What do we need indeed? 